the continuing adventures of so dreary and drab of Nicholas Prepackage Brackage Pickle is McNab, the cab driving crab, a physical rehab in the X ray lab. He was in fine fettered state, much too late to circumnavigate a theatrical event debate concerning by the ferning tree you a one evening orange peeling matinee playhouse run on the kiss me kate and dish tree skates this tree skates by the pluck a duck truck sea his name was Chibat street minsky fleet and everyone in town sat up until sundown said he was quite well read and that he butted his bread hanging upside down from Sally Sue Brown suction cups with the feds, teds, and rice oil browns. Uptown from Henry Henrietta's trifecta winning ticket, tucked, oh, tucked behind the zipper of Medrak the Boiler of Warlock Warlock's leopard fur trousers, who at the time Henrietta, Henry Henrietta was won his cash and carry Grand Prix. But looking through a telescope at the Big Dipper, oh, oh, what a little It shaped as it was in blue bonnet fuzz, buzz fuzz, Christmas wrappings, behind the yellow betwixt the new found wood, hounds crapping smell, and below a belch but uh, hoot a howl, behind the wind a wind up the controller, designed in Bez Moines the colder. <laughs> the game was finally over. In the wing, fly over, had stolen cousin buzzings, rolling, folding, folding the plumber. Oh, oh yes, 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 and so fly me, I went eastward, said kangaroos, but suited the suit to his long time musketeering, crony abundant. As the two of them climbed down the red brick chimney, belonging to the roadside homestead of the illustrious attorney Ernie McCurdy, with a valuable collection of taxidermy creep and buzzard in the very same and faithful evening with Hooper Snatch from his restaurants in Missouri and whisking it to Bristol Rhode Island straight up to New Jersey, who at the same time was with Cisco the Flying Toad in the Malibu, a so I'm often other than not told, even though they've been born in two separate states, creep and buzzard, as it turns out, were both twins. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh my, Creep, as everyone in Bristol well knew, had six stomachs, two red and purple striped uh, turtle tongues, and could sing stairway to heaven backwards whenever he found himself sitting in a tub of fixed piper rub by an Italian restaurant fish tank in Burbank, California. Don't say it's in one year. <laughs> oh, oh. Buzzard, it was said, had 16 brains and could read Emmanuel Kant's critique of pure reason upside down in five minutes, chewing gum and three-point parking alongside a barrel of Christmas caroling chipmunks, on a dime, any time. But it was John Crapper who landed the first Apollo on the moon, Madame Tiptoe, who had calling the homophobic hot for Connecticut, hot farming hops, of course. Norris, the swashbuckling floors from Ohio, said, it was not John Crapper, shouted Morris. It was the butterscotch Leviathan and Tiny Tim. When they got there, their belly buttons were singing Frank Sinatra's I did it my way. We will return soon with another episode, uh, part of that episode of the continuing adventures of Nicholas McDab, the cab driving crab. <laughs>